Okay, well this time I really have it done. Okay, except for the knobs. Alright, back once more again. It is uh, 2.30... Uh, why can I why can I not make that okay 2:34 in the afternoon I've started that over Hi Mary I'm gonna start that over Hi right, everybody I'm back again in the afternoon it is 2:34 in the afternoon and uh, what you see before you is the uh, jewel radio out of the case again now here's the thing my dilemma as it were. Uh, I thought this maybe would go into the bottom of the case and go like down in here. I don't know if you can see there or not, but basically down there. But if you look down in there, I'm going to show you a little closer up. That looks like a, um, a smaller square, something maybe this would make. And I'm thinking maybe that's where it goes. And if you also look at this, this fits this perfectly. <laughs> so I'm kind of thinking maybe this goes on the speaker and the smaller two go well one goes here you can, you can see there in the uh, see the oops I keep messing around here see that right there in the uh, it's got like an outline of it's probably glue it's probably what holds it on there is uh, glue and uh, same thing with this one I think so that's why I'm going to put them back. I'm going to put the uh, put the smaller ones. There's something in the bottom of that bugging me. Anyway, that's why I'm going to put them back. I'm going to put the uh, smaller ones on the uh, two screws in the case. And this one's going to go on a circuit board. I think that's the way it should be. If it is or was or isn't. Now this long strip, I don't know about this one. This looks like it was glued somewhere too. I may look at the case inside and see if I can find somewhere it might have been glued. So, all right, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. We'll be back in a bit. Well, I'm not really sure how it happened, but I found the uh, speaker with a big hole in it. Once I took it out, I uh, don't see anything in there that would have caused it. So I, I don't know. Anyway, I've got a piece of filter over the top of it. You can see the old part that came out, but it uh, it'll repair. I mean, it'd be fine, but it's just you know I don't even know how it happened. There's the other spot over there where it was messed up before, so it's completely different. I don't know. Just thought I'd bring you back for that. I'm still figuring out this uh, how this goes. I think I like I said I think I've got it figured out, but uh, that's uh, what I'm lo looking at. Let me let me get back to that, and I'll bring you back later. All right, uh, right or wrong, that's where it's going. I have it glued and clamped, and I will let that sit uh, while this is uh, the uh, speaker is curing. Also, so both those things are working all right. I would like to kind of get the other ones in place. Um, I think the uh, one for here can be glued on to the case. I think it would make more sense. Glue it onto the case because it, you get a better outlook of where it's where it goes at and how it's situated. And that's the one on the speaker I'm talking about. I'm gonna look at the case and see if I can figure out this long one. Uh, it had glue on it, obviously, so it went somewhere, and I'm gonna see if I can figure out where it went. So, all right, I'll bring you back if I have more. All right, I'm back with you once more. Uh, it's uh. Well, I'd call it uh, 6.47 in the evening. Uh, I am doing some rework here on the uh, radio. I do have this one mounted. Uh, you can see there's the uh, mounting plate there, and I do have these mounted also. There's one on there, and then there's one on this side. I have the screw on this one just to hold it kind of in place. And... Uh, I do have this a new screw in there. I found a better better screw than I had before. So uh, I've got this tucked away a little bit better. This wiring, I uh, tucked it around that IF can and 
and I, I think it'll be out of the way now. There's no no other no other other problems with it. This one here, I'm going to go ahead and I took the other piece of that wire off, and I'm going to make a a solder tin the end of that uh, wire and hook it right there, and that will do that. I'll be done with that. So, uh, anywho, once I get that done, I think I'm going to try to put it in with it uh, like this. I don't think I'm going to try to un undo it from the, the speaker this time. I think it's just better this way. This this came out pretty good. I like that. That should be good. And uh, like I said, that, that's really the only thing I've got to do uh, to get it back in there. And uh, once I get it back in there, this time it'll be done because there's uh, not much else to do to it. That's good. So I just wanted to show you that before I try to put it back in, so you where all the wires are at and things like that. And show you this end too. This is that there. I, I think I can get that out of the way also. But it fits in there good. And uh, well, it's just hard to see in there, but that uh, those things are laying over. They're not uh, affected by that too much. That transformer. So. Anyway, that's uh, looking pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, like I said, that should be fine. Everything should be fine. And we'll bring you back when I show, show you the rest of it. Alright, there we are all back together. As uh, it is. Interest rate for up to 90 days. Then if rates go up, your rate stays locked. But if rates go down, your rate drops. Either way. News. A retired Windsor police inspector is advocating for mental health awareness after he was diagnosed with hope. Cincinnati police shut down part of Vine Street without offering this afternoon to deal with a suspect. He was refusing to surrender. SWAT was convicted. That suspect was eventually taken into custody about a half hour after the incident began. We are waiting on details from police. Yeah, it's uh, WLW. Anyway, um, that is uh, a look at it. Let me open up the back real quick here and show you what it looks like. Obviously, it's got the uh, paper in there. Cardboard, whatever you want to call it. Now, I didn't... Uh, I haven't got that in there real good. I need some kind of a holder for that too. I'm not really sure what I can use, but uh, anyway, that's what it looks like. So I think it turned out pretty good. This end here. You can see I've got the screw in there. And they're all got the, uh, except the only thing I didn't put in was this one here. I wasn't totally sure where it fit. I was thinking, you see this, uh, splash of uh, can you see that splash of looks like glue there I'm thinking maybe that's where it went but I really can't say for sure and uh, like I said that's that's the only place I saw anything like that so anywho that's what that looks like uh, made a, a whole big difference in the way this how solid this is in here so I'm happy about that obviously and uh, so I think once it's put back together, I, I, I like I said, I need some kind of a holder for this. Uh, you know, any, anything would do just to keep it in one place. So let's see if I can get this back in here. I have a little problem with this one here on this end, getting it closed. But anyway, the other one's closed pretty easy. It's just this one on this end here. It gives me a problem. Ah, yeah. It tries to, and then it kind of lets loose. There it is. There you go. There's a good look at it. Kelly 
always going to face you at the, at the five position. Like I say, it works good. I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it's a nice little radio. And I still can make these this knob if I choose to or if I can't find one. Um, the plan was, um, I think when I, I get me some um, plaster of Paris, I think what I'm going to do is take this one off this side and basically make an imprint of this part around here, um, not the uh, inside. In other words, it would be, uh, let's say right here, it'd be like that, and then pour the mold in here, and this would all, all be flat underneath of it, and make a mold of just that part, and then once you turn it over, you can take the mold itself and take this knob, put that into the, the mold, like that, and fill it, fill it in with uh, some kind of epoxy. Um, I think that would be, uh, Bob suggested doing that, and I think that's a pretty good idea actually so uh, that's going to be my plan if I ever get get around to it or if I don't find one I'm still looking on eBay you never can tell one of these ones will pop, pop up pretty cheap or something and if it does then I'll probably just go ahead and buy another one but then you know they always leave me with the dilemma of uh, okay you buy another radio then what happens if the radio is good <laughs> you know what I'm saying now if Obviously, the best scenario there would be if I could find just the knobs, but you know how hard that would be. Anyway, that should do me. Do me good. See, I think this goes this way, I think. That's pretty much it right there. All right, like I said, that's a good look at it. Uh, you guys have a pleasant evening. It's now 7.08 in the evening. And uh, I'm going to take it easy the rest of the evening. And probably, oh, well, I said take it easy. I'm going to try to clean some of this up. This bench is a mess again. And I need to get that cleaned up and get that shelf behind me cleaned off so I can get some of these things off of here. Uh, just you know this is one of the reasons I don't do things in the shop is when it gets like this I, I figure oh man I don't want to clean all that stuff up and so I usually don't <laughs> all right, you guys have a great evening thanks for watching we will see you